As the title of this video says, this video is going to be about DistroKid and my new upcoming project, Thankful. What's up everybody, this is DDS and this video is sponsored by DistroKid and if you aren't familiar with DistroKid, I'm going to tell you a whole lot about it in this video and I'm also going to announce my latest project that I'm working on. I used DistroKid to put out my previous project which came out a little bit before Halloween which was Nightmares 2. If you guys haven't checked it out, please go stream it and check it out on Apple Music. You know, <laughs> you got Apple Music at iTunes which is where you buy it at. You have Tidal, you have Spotify, you have all that stuff. My music is on all those platforms. Thank you to DistroKid and it's really affordable. You can even get your stuff on TikTok, YouTube, all of that stuff as well. I'm going to go into some more of those features when I go over to the computer screen, but it's super duper affordable. Like it's affordable to the point where I had a DistroKid account for a year before I actually used one because it was, I couldn't believe that it was that low of a price for me to get in and be able to start uploading beats. Like that was one of my goals for the was it 2018 i believe it was 2018 i wanted to distribute my music onto these streaming platforms to create some passive income and that's why it's very important to get some stuff going whether you're an artist or producer anybody that's doing anything creative put it out there so the world can get it stream it monetize it all that wonderful stuff because it will be some good money coming in as you guys know i'm planning on uploading beats more frequently online i really have the goal for next year of i want to have a nice amount of streams i haven't really went through and came up with a specific number yet but i am going to do that and i want to be able to be like oh, i have thousands of listens a month you know what i'm saying i really want to build that up and also give people a place to listen to my music and i'm doing something different with the projects that i'm dropping so i'm about to go ahead and move over to the computer where i'm going to show you guys what DistroKid looks like, talk about some of my favorite features and things of that nature, break down the different plans. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so as you see right here, we are on the DistroKid home page. As you see, be prolific. DistroKid is the easiest way for musicians to get music into Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Tidal, TikTok, YouTube, and more. Upload as much as you want. Keep 100% of your earnings. This is dope. I will say this, I have used other distributors in the past. Um, I'm not going to say like which ones I used, but none of them got my music on these platforms as fast as DistroKid. I believe with Nightmares 2, my um, little instrumental EP for Halloween that I did, it got onto Apple Music, I want to say within maybe less than 48 hours. And even then, when I uploaded the um, project and also uploaded the artwork, there was issue with the artwork where... I had DDS on the artwork instead of DDS 825. When I upload my stuff to these stores, I go by DDS 825 because I believe that that would be easier to remember. And also with the branding, with the YouTube channel and all of that stuff, I have all DDS 825. So I want it to be all DDS 825 across all platforms. So when the artwork didn't match that, they emailed me right away and said, hey, your music was submitted, your music was approved, but your artwork you need to change it. Here's why. It was so simple to fix. I did it and it was like done within a few hours that it was available in the store. And I thought that that was amazing because the other places that I dealt with, it seemed like it took a little bit longer than that to get up there. But that's even better, though. Like with this project I'm working on, I will be able to upload it and I know it'll be out within two days or so. At least I know it'll be on Apple Music within 48 hours, which is where I know it's one of the popular platforms. It's not the top, I believe. Spotify is the top streaming platforms. But if I could at least get it on Apple within two days and Spotify like the next day after that, it's all good to me. So what I'm going to do is just log into my account and I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite features of DistroKid and why I think you guys should definitely use them as a platform to get your music out there and help build your brand. Okay, so as you guys see right here, we're inside of my account. We are under my albums. This was the first project that I uploaded using DistroKid. The funny thing about it is, as I stated earlier, I had DistroKid for a whole year before I uploaded anything, which is crazy to me. It was one of my goals to actually upload a project every month of the year. I just didn't get around to doing that. So I'm going to continue that into next year. Like this was October. I plan on putting the project out within the next few days and things of that nature. So I'm going to hold on to that goal into the next year. Just a way to build some passive income, get some streams, things of that nature. As you see right here, this is where all 
my music is at right now. I didn't opt into YouTube because I put stuff on my own channel, but I believe with my next project, I will indeed go through with YouTube. And I'll also explain that in a second. I'm just going to click upgrade to see what show you guys like the pricing options. Currently, I'm on the Musicians Plus plan, which says it's $35.99 a year. This one is $19.99 and the label is $79.99. As you see right here with the musician, one artist or band name, unlimited songs, unlimited lyrics, Spotify, verified check mark, excuse me, one artist or band, the one that I have, which is the musicians plus two artist names, two artist names, two artists or bands names, excuse me, unlimited uploads, Spotify, verified check mark, unlimited lyrics, daily sales stats customizable label name customizable release dates customizable pre-order date customizable itunes pricing and you can have two artists or bands so this is a good option i felt like it was perfect for me because i'm somebody who's all about stats i love looking at stats youtube analytics all that stuff the analytics on instagram everything i love stats just love studying that stuff custom label name is important for me because i have my own llc so i like to put it under my name customizable release dates obviously that's a no-brainer right there you want to put your stuff out when you want to put it out customizable pre-order dates same thing there and customizable itunes pricing that's dope too because you might want to label it your own price i haven't really messed around with that though might make my beat tape a thousand dollars see how that go over right all right, the label, it says you can have five plus artists and band names. Same unlimited songs, verified check mark on Spotify, unlimited lyrics, daily stats, customizable label name. Pretty much the same thing, except you have more artists. This is five to 100 artists or bands, and this will be good if you have a label. So that's definitely a good way to, to distribute your stuff to the stores. Um, I'm going to go back over here and go to the settings because I want to show you guys one of my favorite tools that we have on DistroKid. My favorite tool is Hyperfollow. Now with Hyperfollow, I kind of slept on it until the other day when I actually realized what it was. You click on it. I had to pull it up so you guys could see it. Let me pull up for Nightmares 2. Okay, so I'm about to visit it right here. Okay, so as you see right here, here's my Hyperfollow page. And then this is like Nightmares 2, which was the project I used. And I believe for every project you put out, you will get a different page. This artwork is invalid. This is why they had an issue with my artwork was because it didn't say DDS 825. Like it says right there. So keep stuff like that in mind. Um, you can go right here and post this link. Now, somebody may have Apple Music. Some people may have iTunes. But what if nobody has neither one of those and they have Spotify? What if they have Napster? You know, this link right here is very important because you never know who's streaming on what and you don't want to make it to where I only have the Apple Music link available. And then if somebody doesn't have Apple Music, they just don't take the time to try to find it themselves or listen to it. You end up losing people. So I feel like this is very, very important when it comes to directing people to your music. Let me go back over here to the settings. Go back up. The Marcel generator is pretty cool, but I didn't do that for my last project. Maybe I'll do it with this one. Come up with a scene from Friends and they have your music going. <laughs> it's cool. You have to check it out. One of the reasons why I said I would like to go ahead and add my music through the YouTube thing is because now you can get an official artist channel. I haven't done it yet, like I said. So when I upload my next project within the next few days, I will go ahead and test this out for you guys. Well, not even for you guys, for myself. I want to have an artist page on YouTube, and I see why that could be very beneficial. Okay, so now some other features that I like is you can add your lyrics to your Apple Music iTunes right here. You have Spotify for artists, which is your Spotify account. When you like search yourself on Spotify, you can edit all that, like your picture, all of that stuff. You can go into Apple Music for Artists and do the exact same thing. And I feel like that's very important. It's part of your brand, part of your image. You will want to control what people see when they look you up. So this is a great way to do it. Right here, they have the vault where it says free unlimited backup of your music files. That's a great feature. Right here, you have the fixer tool where it says stores got you on the wrong artist page. Some other artists on your page, we can help. Haven't had any issues with that. Haven't need to use it. I like this right here where you can go ahead and put the credits and all that information on the songs. And then also they have something here called Teams. So if I collaborate with somebody and they have a distro kid account, we can just send like our splits right. Just have it go directly to everybody where you don't have to do it individually. And that's great. So 
if you guys are interested in putting your music out online, I do have an affiliate link, which will save you guys 7% on your subscription to DistroKid. So you guys be sure to use my link, which will be in the description below. Just click it. It's right down there. And you guys can check out DistroKid. I'm sure you guys will love it. And I feel like it is an important tool in today's time to actually getting your music out there and creating some type of passive income for yourself just off your music. Because even if you get a few dollars, something like that, it all will add up. And if you get your music out there, you never really know. It may blow up or something, end up on a playlist. Next thing you know, you're making money off of your music. So I will say check it out. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. If I know the answers, I will respond right away. But aside from this, I want to talk about my upcoming project. So I'm going to swing back over and get on camera. So as I was saying, my new project that I'm working on is going to be called Thankful. It's just a project of different type of beats. I kind of wanted to say some soulful type beats, but it's not, it might not necessarily be soulful type beats, but it's what I feel is soulful type beats. It's just different type of beats that kind of have like a mood to it that you can play around Thanksgiving because you, you know, everybody likes to be like, I'm thankful for this, I'm thankful for that. So I'm really thankful for the things in my life, thankful for the things that I'm going through. I'm thankful for the things that's coming up. I feel like there's great things on the horizon for me, my family, everybody. So I'm thankful for all of that. So I'm just doing this project. Something a little bit different, put it out there. And then maybe who knows in December, I may try some Christmas music and guess how I'm upload it. Distro kid. Again, if you want to try and use distro kid, use the link in the description and save yourself 7% on your subscription. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Once again, I want to thank distro kid for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys are interested in checking it out, click that link you all have a wonderful day if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you're not new i just want to ask that you just continue to support me thank you for watching take care